Part 3 Head Proportions In this video part, you will learn the classical proportions of the human head and the main principles of constructive drawing for portraiture. We will make two sketches of a female head, one head-on and another in profile. Let's begin with the head-on sketch. A vertical line will represent the central line of the face. It serves as an axis of symmetry. We divide this line in half. You can use a pencil to measure this proportion. In the middle, we will draw a horizontal line. This is where axis of the eyes will be. The ratio of width to height is approximately two-thirds. Now, we draw an oval that goes around these four dots. This oval will outline the contour of the head. Another important proportion of the human face that every fine artist must know is that the distance from the chin to the base of the nose is equal to the distance from the base of the nose to the eyebrow line, which in turn is equal to the distance from the eyebrow line to the line of the hair roots. Here's one amateur mistake you need to be aware about to avoid it. Don't place the mouth in the exact center of the distance between the base of the nose and the bottom edge of the chin. It is, in fact, located slightly higher than that. In this sketch, it is actually the bottom edge of the lower lip that touches that middle distance. So, the line between the lips is about a third of the way from the base of the nose. The width of the neck is about one-half the height of the head. Let's make another sketch in the same scale, this time portraying a female head from the side. The distance between the hairline, the eyebrow line, the base of the nose, and the bottom edge of the chin are equal. The upper edge of the ear lies on the same level as the eyebrow, while the lower edge is level with the base of the nose. 